Greetings, everyone. My name is Tim Keys, and today I want to talk about the plugins from Air Music Technology. Don't sleep on them. Don't sleep on them. I'm just going to get right to it. Air Music Technology offers some great plugins, and for anyone who's been you know, doing music making for a while, especially if you have used Pro Tools, you know that Air Music Technology was a company that initially started out making plugins in conjunction or exclusively for Pro Tools. And over the past five years or so, in the last five years, they have decided to, you know, expand their you know, horizons and allow people, you know, who just use VSTs to use their products. And I have to say, they make some very, very good products. I'm not going to go through every last plugin that they have because they have quite a few, but <clears throat> I am going to take a look at a few of them, including Loom 2 that I have pulled up right now. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time going over every feature of this plugin or all of their plugins because that would take too long. But I figure we can start out by showing some sounds. Loom 2 is an additive synthesizer. It has a very unique approach to their sound design in that they have more of a modular setup and how they do additive synthesis. But as you can see with these partials, these are the number of partials being generated by the stone. And that is providing a very rich sound. So yeah, a very rich sound, and these guys have done a great job with these products. Now, Loom 2 specifically, you know, I would say their one caveat, in my opinion, is they only give you eight voices of polyphony. <clears throat> in my opinion, they could have added more, especially when you take into consideration plugins like uh, Reason's Own Parsec and... I think what's the other one? Pigments too. Uh, Thorn, even though Thorn is wavetable in its approach, it still has a very powerful additive engine built in. Um, Razor, they all offer a little bit more on the voicing of polyphony, but you get up to 512 partials per voice. So that's a lot. And, you know, you're not going to lack for sounds with these products. I'll show you another one if I can pull it up. Let's see. Hopefully it won't take too long. Yep, one thing that I enjoy. Uh -oh. I gotta wait on it to load. Come on, you can do it. I might have too much stuff going on. 
So yeah, air music technology has a lot of different, you know, plug-in options and they're fairly inexpensive. Like you can find these plugins, you know, for fairly cheap. Sometimes I've seen them as low as a dollar, like expand to I've seen for as low as a dollar. Um, I think it's hybrid three. I've seen as low as a dollar and expand Two is like a great alternative to something like Nexus or even I think it's initial audios. I think it's lethal. I might be saying the, the wrong product name, but initial audio, they have their own rompler and I can't think of the name off the top of my head and I apologize, but yeah, great products that will give you, you know, bang for buck options when it comes to Great bank for buck options. This product in particular is their own attempt at, you know, modeling different types of electric pianos. I think under the hood, they've been able to capture a nice combination of utilizing samples as well as some physical modeling capabilities with this particular product. And so you get quite a few different types of electric pianos that you can work with. <clears throat> you can adjust the pickups, you can turn, you can change the mechanics, adjust the amount, you can make the condition really good and really bad fine tune it to get a dirty sound. So <clears throat> you have all of these different options. Let's see, I'll do, I'll do expand. There we go. Hopefully I don't kill my computer. It just takes so long to boot up stuff. Yep, so this is Expand. I'm sure you've probably seen this in quite a few different videos. And yeah, um, <clears throat> what you get here is basically a rompler. For those of you who don't know, which I assume you would if you... Yeah, anyhow. A rompler is basically, you know, a device that plays back the sounds. What's nice about this is you get four different layers to work with, right? So you can mix and match your sound as you like. Under the hood, it supposedly utilizes your wavetable, sample bass, FM, and subtractive synthesis. That could mean... So you have all of these, you know, different options to utilize. You have your basic attack, decay, sustain, release, cut off for your filters. You don't get to adjust the type of filters you have. And that's one major caveat that I've seen in a lot of your romplers. What you get is what you get. 
But the nice thing about having a good rompler is that you can focus on the main output of your sounds and just focus on getting, you know, getting busy with the production. And for, <clears throat> at times, this has been as low as a dollar. Not always a dollar, so you got to catch it on sale at something like Plugin Boutique. But it's been as low as a dollar. You get a wide variety of sounds. Everything you can think of from your pads to your leads, hard leads, piano, standard. Honky tonk. I'm not going to do that. Nothing groundbreaking, but then again, you can layer these up and you're going to get a lot of, you know, a lot of mileage out of these. Let's get out of that one. But yeah, anything you can think of for the most part in terms of your basic, what they call bread and butter sounds, you'll have with something like Expand. Let's see. There we go. Let's check out Boom. So boom is basically, you know, your drum synth, drum machine, so to speak. You can change the type of drums you can use. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the approach that they had here is more of your basic analog type sounds. So will you get your typical 808s in your trap music? Not necessarily, but can you take the sounds that are in here and can you get something out of that? I would say so. And for, you know, depending on where you can get this from right now, this is on sale at ADSR. I think it's ADSR.com or ADSRsounds.com. They have this on sale with another drum plugin for 10 bucks. And so, you know, if you're looking for, you know, some good quality plugins that won't necessarily break your bank account i would say look no further than some of these plugins offered by air music technology i'm gonna get off of that one <clears throat> if you can find this one on sale it may still be on sale it may not i'll check and then i'll put the link in the description and then you can go from there it's from 500 come on There we go, drum synth 500. This is another one. Now this um, doesn't always show up in the bundle of Plugin Boutique, but if you find these and you can find them cheap or inexpensive, then I would highly encourage see 
I just picked this up not too long ago. And what's nice about this is you have a more flexible engine here where you can put your own samples in, you can use what they have here to shape and create your own sounds. You got, I think over 500 different types of drum sounds that you can utilize. So if you're coming out of the gate and you're kind of strapped for drums, I would say check this out because it is a good one. Let's pick another preset. And there's just a lot here. This even comes with a few MIDI files too. And then you have your effects that you can use to shape your sounds. And let's do one more. Interesting. Those are tuned. All right. Do one more. And then I'm going to call it good. Uh, let's see. Is it air drum? It might not be. Might have forgotten the name. And I apologize if that is the case. And I did, let's see. Nope, those are the plugins. Yeah, if you buy the collection, they also have a very nice comprehensive amount of effects as well that you can use to shape your sounds. They really have some great stuff. I'll do one more. Let's see if I can find it. Let's go with vacuum. Uh oh. There we go, Vacuum Pro. Get my C's and my U's confused. Oh, well, Vacuum Pro. Vacuum Pro is their take on having a very gritty analog synthesizer. And let's see. So you have your basic plugin, or not basic plugins, your basic sounds. Then you have your pads, you have your basses. Let's see what their leads sound like. bad and again you can adjust the polyphony on these sounds if you will to make them you know more aggressive have a wider you know spectrum of sound let's do a pad we'll do nervous growth mm -hmm.
must adjust my voices. You only get up to six? Oh well. So yeah, there's a lot here that is offered. Um, Air Music Technology, they make some great stuff. And if you're on the fence about it, in terms of investing in these plugins, keep in mind that these are the guys behind NPCs and Akai Forces Hype Synth. And if you know anything about the Hype Synth, that is a remarkable plugin in its own right and they did a great job on that and if you're not trying to invest in the npc software to get those sounds um but you want you know something comparable i would definitely advise you know taking a look at these plugins there's some great stuff here so yeah Air music technology plugins. I haven't even bothered to go into the effects units, but I would say check them out. And if you have like one or two of these plugins already, I would seriously consider upgrading to get the full suite because you won't be disappointed, in my opinion. So that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to the new subscribers. My name is Tim Keys. I'm out. Peace.